<laughs> What's hey, up? welcome to uh, Concept Something Podcast Episode 4. I'm Nathan. I'm Ryan. And that, that's all we have. Just... Okay, join us back <laughs> next week. For- <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Cut to credits. But... Yeah, so we're just trying to keep this week's episode uh, a little more tame than last week's, which was last an experience. Week was a t- yeah, last week was a 10. This one's going to be a 1, I'd say. Complete opposite. Like, it's Labor Day right now for us, and... Everyone's gone. I got nothing to do. Yeah, I didn't do anything I mean, this I weekend. Do have, I have stuff to do, but do I want to do it? No. No, no one ever does. It's a long weekend. I, I enjoyed it made the best i went swimming you went swimming dude the swim the the yet the weather yesterday was garbage what was it yes oh yeah yesterday it was, was sunday dreary. yeah well, i know yesterday was sunday i was trying to think the it was weather. gray wet and cold it was basically what i picture england being like and what 24 every movie, 7 yeah what every movie depicts england to be like just imagine that right now and that's that's what it was that's, yeah that's what it was i woke up at it's like nine not bad. And left. I I also, like, was... I was super hungover, is what I'm saying. I woke up at 11. Yeah. And I was still hungover. <laughs> I was exhausted. I got to sleep in today, though. That was nice. Got more than, like, I got six s- hours of sleep. I got to sleep in with quotations. I went out last night for someone's uh, 21st birthday. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Didn't You, you guys ended up in uh, Royal Oak, right? Yeah, I ended up in Royal Oak. Ended up meeting someone that we know, Nick C. Oh, he was nice. Like, out, it was 2 a.m. Like, when I'm like, I went to the bathroom to take a whiz, right? And, like, I just walk in, this dude standing in the corner, like, the dude I know is like, dude, double take. I'm like, yo, Nick C, is that fucking you? He's like, See, oh shit, right. Why is he standing in the corner? He, he was waiting for a friend. Oh. His friend, his friend was really hammered. So. So he was the one who had to take care of him, basically. Oh, he got hammered, too. He did a couple shots with the birthday boy. Oh, that's so. good. Because yeah. they were doing Bowes and the other. Mackenzie. Right? Oh, it was Mackenzie? Yeah. Okay. They, they share the same birthday. Oh, okay. Which is today. Mm. But, yeah, like, it was a long night. Dude, these past couple nights have been really long, and I have not got enough sleep, even though I've been able to, like, sleep in. That's like, okay, I don't... The one thing I hate about parties is, why do they start so late? Honestly. Like, they'll start at, like, 9 or 10. And it's like, fucking started at, like, 6. We can be done by midnight <laughs> and everyone can go home and get a normal amount of sleep. So, the issue with that, actually, is we start our parties earlier than normal here. Because, like, for example, like, one of our roommates, he's from Ecuador, he says all the parties there don't start till, like, midnight or 2 a.m. That's so dumb. And then they go till, like, sunrise. That's really dumb. Because <laughs> then you're just throwing away the next day and... Yeah, but, so I slept in one of these past days till noon. And it's like, I felt my day, my day was just gone. I don't like it. Yeah, that's why I just, like, I can't sleep in that late. I think the longest I've ever, like, at least that I remember I've slept in is probably, like, 10 <laughs> Like ever? Yeah, that I can rem- like actually remember. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. You had to have slept or slept past like ten o'clock. No. Dude, my Is my internal it? clock is amazing, but it also sucks because it it just doesn't let me sleep sometimes. <laughs> like I haven't used an alarm since high school. Really? Yeah. Okay. See, I still use an alarm because I don't trust myself. Yeah. Uh, when we flew out to Conclave, my flight. I had to wake up at 3 o'clock in the morning to get to the airport by, like, 4.30-ish because my flight was at 6. Okay. Set an alarm, woke up probably 10, 15 minutes before it, <laughs> and I just, like, laid there, checked my phone, and I was like, I just want to go to sleep. My eyes burn so badly. So that is the downside, I'd say. Yeah. Everyone's like, oh, that's amazing. I'm like, you have no idea how much it sucks. It's like one of those things like you wish you had it until you actually have it, and then it's just like torture with it. Yeah. Ooh, but we can tell a story, story time, Which, about, about this past Friday. 
about the thing that's hanging up on her wall? No, that's okay. that's too recent. I that's would wait. I'd wait a little oh, while. Okay, well, that's too fresh. Well, we'll come back to it though. Not that the school's ever gonna hear about it, but we may or may not have borrowed something from the school for a long time. Yeah, it's gonna be here for an extended period of time. That we may or may not return to the school in the future, but who knows? If anyone's listening to it from our school, please don't tell anyone. Snitches get stitches. <laughs> That's all we have to say. Just leave it at that. <laughs> snitches get stitches. Keep quiet or else. I'm trying to think of a story, dude. Like, oh, just... uh, okay. So this summer when I was in Kansas City, I slept on an air mattress the entire summer because it's a lot easier to right. travel with, essentially. And so we bought it here in Michigan before I left. Blew it up to make sure that it was, like, fine and everything and kind of let it to air out because it smells like it smells like industrial when you first blow up an air mattress. I, I see. Not, yeah. I, I know what you're saying. It's not a smell that you really want to be uh, smelling, Within. really, too frequently. Yo, does it hit? Does it hit hard? Does yeah, it it's like it? huffing paint. <laughs> <laughs> Just wake up in the morning, you're like, oh, I don't know where I am. Yo, I'm fucking high off yeah. this bed right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but... Blow it up, great, held its air and everything. Get get to Kansas, move all my stuff into the house, blow it up, and I sleep on it the first night, and it just doesn't hold its air anymore. Like, it's, I'm literally, like, folding it half when I wake up. Like, that was the very first night. Yeah, when I slept in Kansas, yes. Dude, that's why I hate air mattresses. Yeah, so then I was like, I still had the receipt and everything, because it was from, like, Bed Bath & Beyond. Mm-hmm. So, that for like I slept on it again just to see if it was like oh maybe because it they do stretch out. Is like oh maybe it was the first time maybe the second time it'll be different kind of thing. Yeah maybe like I don't know maybe it stretched out or it stretched out a little bit because it does say that on the instructions. It's like oh it may seem like it's losing air but just add some more and it'll be fine. So I did that. Didn't hold its air at all. So me being the crazy person I am. I'm like, oh, okay, so uh, the box literally says once this, like, the sealed plastic bag that it, it's in, mm-hmm. inside of the box, is open, not to return it, or, like, not to accept the return. So I was like, I'm going to return this and get a new one, <laughs> whether they like it or not. So I go there. Actually, no, the day before, I go go to Walmart, get some super glue so I can super glue the box shut. <laughs> Roll everything up, put it in the bag, super glue the box shut, make sure it looks like it's Has unopened. It yeah. <laughs> Go return it. And the person at the cash register like was having issues, so the manager comes up and I was like, Shit. Don't ask questions, <laughs> don't ask anything. He's like, it's like, oh, so uh the match didn't work out for you? And I was like, No, nah, I just didn't need it. Got my money back and then <laughs> went to a different one and bought bought the new one. <laughs> Other one worked great. I don't know what happened to the first one. First one sucked. So you tell me. So since you sealed it up, someone else probably bought that. So they thought. Yeah, it was I thought about that, and I was like, "They can return it." <laughs> Someone's gonna have to return it. Yeah. They'll, they'll just keep doing the same thing. I don't know. The box what, kind of looked destroyed a little bit. Yeah. What if someone already returned it for when you had it? Do you think about that? No, because I don't know. It looked new. Some do the same thing. No, but I didn't like, because like all the cords were wrapped up really nice and like. Okay. Everything was actually wrapped up the way it, it should have been. So they're going to open it and be like, what the hell happened to this? It's yeah. Like sc- shoved in there like a... Sc- no, I rolled it up like it should have been because I, I bought the new one. Or, no, I bought the new one before I went and returned the old one mm-hmm. just so I had a bed to sleep on. Okay. And I was like, okay, I can like kind of mirror this to the old one. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I, yeah, bas- I basically ended up doing that, but... Yeah, someone someone probably has a broken air mattress and doesn't know what to do. <laughs> feel bad for that person. I, yeah. I feel like all like almost all air mattresses never work. I swear. Yeah, and it's so inconsistent. And the thing about an air mattress is, you know how like a bed has like a certain firmness and like it holds that. Yeah, my bed's pretty firm. And like, dude, yours is a rock. Yours is like sleeping <laughs> on this table we're uh, recording it at. That's basically his bed. Okay, my bed does not make that noise. That's it's it. close. When you That's jump on it, it does. <laughs> I need new mattress. Mom, Dad, if you're listening to this right now, <laughs> dude, get them. Please give me a mattress. Get one from IKEA. That's what I got mine from. It's so comfortable. How much does it cost? 
Well, it depends on what size. It's like I think queen. a full was like either 100 or like 150. So how much would a queen be? Like 200? Maybe like 200 or 250 or something? It's, That's not for, bad for no, a mattress. No, for a mattress, not at all. But the only thing is like, what am I going to do with this old mattress? I don't know what to do with my mattress. Burn it. Yo, can we go sledding off the roof? Well, not off, no, not off the roof. we got to find a big-ass hill and go down it. Three in the What's t- Sleeping Bear Sand Dunes. Let's go. Oh, okay. So, I guess oh. speaking of sledding, so... Uh, Is that track? Yeah, when, we're, when I was in Boy Scouts, because R- Ryan and I are both Eagle Scouts. Hell yeah. Yeah. Boy Be Scouts. prepared. We are prepared. Somewhat. So, yeah. Kind of. I try to be prepared. That's kind of why I always feel like I'm overpacking. <laughs> Same. It's like, oh, I guess I got to bring a uh, nice shirt because who knows what we're going to do. Oh, I better bring like a few more pairs of underwear and such. You yeah. never know. It's like, oh, I got to bring a sweatshirt because it might be cold. <laughs> I and never then, do that. I'll just freeze. I usually do. But then, I, when was it? I just didn't and I was freezing the entire time and it was miserable. <laughs> so now you will always pack it. Yeah. I always try to wear it on the plane, except for, like, when I was flying out of Kansas, it was always, like, 95 in the middle of the day. So, so you did not need a sweater. <laughs> no. When I flew to San Francisco, I left work at, like, 3 o'clock to get to the airport by, like, 4, because my flight was around 6. And I had a sweatshirt on. And it was probably, like, 100 degrees out. <laughs> and I was standing there waiting for the bus to pick me up from, like, the economy <laughs> parking lot. To take me to the terminal in a sweatshirt, and there's Why? this family that rolls up, and they're like all in tank tops and flip flops. I'm like, hey, "How's it going?" It's like, they're like, "Are you all right?" I'm like, like "I'm, I'm from going the center great. of the earth right now. This is so cold." Yeah. <laughs> I'm from uh, Arizona. Yeah. Yeah. Where it's hot. Where it's 95 in the winter. <laughs> but Where it's okay, summer year round. Sledding story. Yeah. So sledding. So my troop. We used to go to uh, west side of Michigan over Muskegon. There's a luge track. Yes, luging like the Olympic sport. Luge like it's like thing you drink out of. You know. I, yeah, no, I, I know uh, what a luge is. is. Is that the right? Am I thinking of the right luge? It's <laughs> the only luge I can think of. No, it's like I'm uh, an alcoholic. It's like sledding on ice, basically. So, luge is feet first. Skeleton is where they go head first. Wait, for sled? It's in the Olympic. It's like an Olympic sport. You, oh, you I know what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah. 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 So, Muskegon has... I'm going to be... This This stat's going to be wrong, but it's like one of like the three training facilities in the U.S. or something like that. What the fuck? Yeah. Really? I did not know that. Yeah. I'm from Michigan. Yeah, it's cool. Blue, yeah, we... And my... I think my dad started was the one who actually started doing it, and like organizing everything. Mm-hmm. But like we we we've been going for like three or four years at this point. This was like four years ago, and we always would just like get there and kind of just chill out until we went losing, which we'd usually go at night. But this year, like let's say it's twenty fifteen or something like that. In twenty fifteen, we. End up going, I think it was the next morning, luging, just because, like, the time slots. And sometimes it's, like, extremely popular if it's a good winter because then the track's actually up and running. But if it's, like, a really crappy winter, then, like, the track isn't essentially developed because it takes so long to build up the layers of ice and everything and right. get it up to speed. So when we end up going, uh, someone someone heard that you could go sledding down, like, the sand dunes over by off of Lake Michigan. We're like, oh, that's cool. So we, we decided to do that. <laughs> it's like a horrible idea, not to lie. It was amazing. It was like the best sledding. It was like sledding on steroids. We we brought like they literally did steroids and they started sledding. Yeah, which actually is worse because it makes you like bigger, so you're a little bit slower, a little uh, more friction. Okay. No, but we the sand dunes were massive, and it was they were also a sheet of ice, so. We're climb. We're trying to climb up these, and like, if you misstep, you're you're going all the way to the bottom. <laughs> but we like we we were there for like two or three hours, and I had I just got my braces off. I think that summer, and I had my retainers in. Mm-hmm. Somehow sand got under my retainer, 
It was the worst. In your it, mouth? Yeah. Did you fucking eat shit or something? No. Or like, well, yeah. Okay. Okay, but that's probably why you got something yeah. in your mouth. Well, bit. but I had like a face mask on too, because everyone brought like ski helmets and ski goggles too, <laughs> because like you're so prepared. Yeah, no, they were like, oh, it's gonna be like intense. Like, it's it's gonna be like the most fun sledding you've ever had, or like you're gonna die. And we're like, what is that supposed to mean? And they're like, just, just bring a helmet. So we brought a helmet, as you do. Well, at least you were prepared. Yeah. Like, like a good Boy Scout you were. <laughs> yeah. God, I miss the Boy Scouts. We did some good trips. Yeah. It was fun. We did nothing. I don't... Not to my knowledge, we did nothing like that. I don't remember. Like, there's some cool stuff where we would, uh... Actually, during the winter, when it's, like, below zero degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah. And we would go camping in the middle of winter. And we would actually... That seemed fun. There's once we actually made it loose. Like, actually... We packed snow together and everything, and it was, like, insulated enough where it was actually really warm inside. Did you actually sleep in there? Yeah. Huh. Dude, it was, it was cool. Like, not gonna lie. It's okay. Like, cause it was, we only did this one year because there was a shit ton of snow on the ground. So, basically, you didn't have to, like, really build up it that much because you could dig. Like, it was, yeah. like, a foot or two okay. deep. So, you were able to dig down, get base, and patch it up. Yeah. So, we... The lid blew, put a hole at the top for ventilation, you know. Did you build a fire in there or no? I don't, I don't think we did. Cause I think our own body heat kept it warm enough. We just put blankets on the ground. Oh, that's cute. I know. Did you guys sing Kumbaya too? Yeah, and, and uh, we puffed the pipe, I guess you could say. <laughs> we puffed the magic dragon? Do puff, what is it, piff? Oh, what? Th- th- there's actually someone named that. He's a comedian, not gonna lie. Sure. Yeah, there's there's someone named that, but piff. I I I wish I had crazier stuff I did though, in Boy Scouts. It was it was, it was just like okay. I have to think about it. Did you okay? So, I guess we're gonna stick on the topic of Boy Scouts here, but my troop we did a thing called High Adventure, where it was for. Oh. Did you guys do something similar? I'm no, assuming I didn't do that. I know is it like high ropes course is that. Oh no, no! This is like okay. this is for everyone who was either like fifteen with a parent or sixteen or older. Okay. So it's basically like all like the older scouts would go, and it was basically we had like a rotation, and then we kind of ended up breaking it when I was going through everything. But the first year I went, we went to Ace Adventure in West Virginia. And went like whitewater rafting, rock climbing, mountain biking. Man, your trip is cool than my trip. I don't know what else we did. Hike, I we just hiked around too. But the year we went, um, the last day we were there, there was like a god awful storm coming through, and like we're so like Ace Adventure, like the I guess like the plaza, or not plaza, like the little rec area that they have Mm -hmm. so like the there's like a little lake over here and then right next to that is like a dining hall that you can pay for and then there's like the welcome center right by it and then like the gift shop so like that's like the little hub area and then for camping because we were camping in their property all the campsites were up on top of the mountain and it's not the best place to be during a really bad storm the top of a mountain. Well, I feel like it's not. It sometimes can't be too bad. So if you're high enough up, the storm might like not. We we weren't high enough up. Okay. At all. <laughs> so it's not, not much of a mountain, but more of like a hill. A tall I'd still hill. say it was like a mountain. We're probably like a 100, 200 feet difference in elevation from. Okay. There to the to, like the lake to, to the there. campsite. Okay. Yeah, because like you literally just drive up and it's it's a steep slant. Okay. But we we knew the storm was coming, so we pretty much had most of our stuff packed. Just because, like, I don't know, the trip was winding down, and we were like, well, if we have to leave, like, we can leave, like, quickly, because we don't really have to pack too many things up, besides, like, taking the tent down and everything. But the storm hit. You know on the radar how, like, most storms, it's like, there'll be, like, a bunch of green, and there'll be, like, little speckles of red. This entire storm was like all red, red 
the dark to red. dark red like, like, like the purplish color right it's like dark maroon or something like that right is that the bad one it was like the worst it could possibly be like yeah pure black yeah like if there was like a a target it was basically like a target logo actually no, not even so it, was, like, it was literally just like a red circle just take a, <laughs> it was just a red ufo hovering over us sweeping through west virginia so the storm hits and we knew it was gonna hit we didn't think it'd be too bad mm-hmm it hit hard. The, like, it, there were probably like 75 mile an hour winds. Did you at least hear like camp set up first? Or? The, like this was when we were, it was the night before we were leaving because we were leaving the next morning. Okay, so everything was already set up because it's really hard to set up a camp or a tent when <laughs> there's at least a breeze. And if you're 75 an hour or mile an hour winds, like yeah. that's impossible to set up a tent. Yeah. So... <sighs> Gosh, it was. Everyone like ran into the cars because there were a bunch like a, there were huge gusts of wind, like right off the bat, and then the storm came in, mm-hmm. and you could see the storm because it was just it was just like black clouds, and you're like, this is not gonna be good at all. <laughs> so everyone like runs in their cars, and we're also at the top of this mountain, and there's no cell service. Mm-hmm. So a couple of other a couple of guys from our group like went into town to get ice cream, like like during the storm or like beforehand. Oh, so before it hit. Yeah, and from from what they were saying, they drove to the ice cream shop, got the ice cream. We're standing outside looking around, and it was like super open and everything. And they saw just a bunch of black clouds, and they're like, "We have to drive back that way." <laughs> we should probably go they end up like arriving like probably an hour later and everyone's like freaking out they're like where are they oh we, did they not tell anyone that they were leaving no because like everyone ended up splitting up this night because some people some of us cooked food at the top of the mountain and then some people went down oh, okay. to eat at like the little like the dining hall restaurant thing they have because mm-hmm. i think they were doing like a special or something but we were sitting <laughs> We were sitting in my mom's van. It was me, my brother, and then two other guys. And we brought, we brought our Xbox <laughs> because she had like the was it the Dodge van, whatever it is. And it had like the TV screens so you could hook up into it. Oh. So we were sitting there on like these Smart. eight inch screens playing split screen Halo. <laughs> so you had like a two inch by one inch square for your screen. That's literally like a phone. That's literally using. I'd say it was like smaller than what phones are, like the size. I'm looking at my phone right now. I think it would have worked. I think it could work. Yeah, like you could get One, two, you could get yeah. pretty close. So it's like you'd be in the screen, but dude, it, it wasn't it wasn't too bad. You know, what? honestly, if you have nothing else, you might as yeah. well. Yeah. So the storm's rolling through with. 75 mile an hour winds or something like that and we're just like sitting there playing halo and then we're like okay this is boring so we're, we're looking out the window as the rain's falling and the car's shaking all over the place and we look and see the tent that uh like I, we would always use when we went camping was like was like one of the giant coleman ones it was like the giant box square one or rectangle yeah. one yeah that's that, like it was it supposed we slept like 14 people but you'd fit like three in your like space <laughs> this is so much more room for activity i know it was oh, so much better and then i was using like one of the standard like two pole whatever like coleman tents like one that was like a coffin oh no no, no it's like a standard one. yeah it's square a standard one. like square tent that you see all the time okay where like they cross on top and it's like a little dome basic I, I had a small backpacking coffin one where it said it I was, could stand up in mine. I could sit up in mine. Maybe oh, squat. I have, an, I have another I squat. I have another storm story after I finish this one. But storm passes and everything. One, one of our guys' tents, they didn't set it up right. And it blew over the bathroom, which was like a hundred... 100, 150 feet away from, like, where our site was. 
flew over the bathroom and down the mountain. And they were in it. No, everyone was <laughs> in their cars. There were people in sites next to us, like, I think he was camping out of, like, the back of his truck. But he built, he put one of the picnic tables on top of another one and had, like, a bunch of branches over it and built, like, a kind of like a mini, like, dome structure encasing his car, too. Smart. And he had, like, a fire going, too, and he was just sitting there chilling with, like, the wind blowing all over the place. He's a smart man. He was he was something. Yo, I, I can't believe you've done all these cool ass trips, though. You're cute. Yeah, we also went to Florida Sea Base, which is... Uh, Fucking travel park. We didn't travel this far. We were too small. Oh, yeah, we group. flew we flew Spirit Airlines, which is complete garbage. <laughs> <laughs> we were on the way there. Uh, what was it? Uh, when we were like coming into land, they pulled out like the landing gear and everything, and it made this really weird sound. It was like, and it just sounded like grinding for like a minute. One of the flight attendants walks by and he's like, "That doesn't sound good," and just kept walking. <laughs> and I turned to my buddy, I'm like, "That's what you want to hear on a flight, dude." And he's like, <laughs> "This is what you're paying for, spirit. yeah." And then on the way back from, we also flew with Spirit on the way back because it's super cheap. Uh, my tray table didn't go down because they duct taped it because it was broken around the front of the other seat, like the seat in front of me, and they just duct taped around it. And it's like, guess I can't uh, bolt my tray table, guys. You know, who really uses a tray table that much? I only use it to set my drink on. Yeah. Because I'm too lazy to hold it. Like a I don't even think, think they did drink service. It's Spirit Airlines. <laughs> They, you don't get a lot. With it's that. toilet water. <laughs> you get the water. Don't get the water on Spirit. And you want some water? Oh, it's ten dollars, and it comes out of the toilet. <laughs> totally worth it. Okay. I want to vent though about one thing with Boy Scouts. I never understood and I hated. Everything is. You know how like with, like you have to do fundraising with food and everything for like your organization. What do you mean? It's like Girl Scouts. They sell Girl Scout cookies. Oh yeah. In Boy Scouts, it's we sell popcorn. popcorn. Who the hell? buys popcorn because it's super expensive like yeah. you want a pack of like 10 things of popcorn it's gonna be like 15 20 bucks yeah you get like you get like this box of like regular microwave popcorn it's like 20 box or 20 bucks a box yeah like and you if you go to Meyer, it's like four dollars yeah so you're the boy starts are charging people like five times actual price and no one wants to buy it because it's honestly not that good i feel like the only reason people buy it is because they feel bad yeah like, why don't we have something better? Like, cookies are such a good commodity. It's like, know. you can sell so many more. We started Switch, like, I wouldn't say started. Like, we also would do pizza kits through Little Caesars. People people like those. That. They're so good, honestly. Yeah, I heard about that, actually. We didn't do that because, like I said, we're small. So we, we didn't I'll have that true. Uh, I'd say, ooh, probably in its prime, like a dozen. Really? Uh, maybe two dozen. Two dozen? Were you guys like the only troop in Mount Pleasant? I think so. Okay. Like, there's just not that many people, I don't think. Yeah. Like, I'm really trying to think on how many people there were, and I guess maybe it was like match 20. And that was from all, like, ages in Boy Scouts, like from senior year in high school all the way down to, like, fifth grade. Yeah. Yeah, that's weird, because, like, my troop, I feel like we always hovered around, like, 30 to 40 people. Yeah, see, yeah, we're not that large. There was just not that many people interested in my school. Yeah. Like, for example, when I was in high school, like, me, there was, like, four people from my grade, I think, in, like, that I'm just good friends with that were in my troop. But yeah. other than that, in high school, there's no one else. Like, there's just, like, no one. <laughs> like, there was, like, a whole gap of, like, four years till yeah. there's someone else. Like, it was us seniors, and there was, like, eighth graders. That was the net size. Yeah, there was... I don't know, like, they're, at least recently from what I've heard, actually, no, like, even when I was aging out, uh, like, all the all the new parents didn't want to get involved at all. They just wanted to kind of, like, drop their kids off and, like, <laughs> go, kids. yeah, go go do something and I'm going to leave. So, like, I, like, the troop, my troop has been, like, slowly, I think, dying. Mm-hmm. Just because, like, I don't know, people don't want to go outside. Honestly, I don't even know my troop situation. I should probably go back and yeah. say hi. Honestly, yeah, I don't think it's worth it. I don't think it matters. I think it's too late. I probably won't know anyone anymore. Like maybe yeah. I'll know a few people. Yeah, the last 
people that I actually talked to and was like friends with, they just graduated high school. Yeah, so, like, I'm, I think I'm, I'm in pretty the same much boat. done with it. I, mm, I think the last ones I talked to are probably se- juniors and seniors right now. Yeah. Yeah, they're actually, they're probably seniors. Shit. Yeah, it makes me feel old. Dude, what? You're going to college. I'm still in college. I'm going to be here for another year and a half. Same, dude. Gotta love grad school. Well, you you at least technically get a degree. I don't get a degree. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, no, but another another bad storm story. So, we went to... What what summer camps did you guys go to? I uh, went to Camp Grayling, Camp Rotary. Okay, yeah, so Camp Rotary. Camp Rotary was pretty cool. Camp Rotary, that was... Rotary was really good, and then Camp Gerber. I don't know if you guys ever went there. We went there once, but that was the one year I did not go to us on a family vacation. Okay. Gerber was really good, honestly. Because, like, both the times that... Or, no... Yeah. Did I go there twice? No, I only went there once. But the time that we did go there, we, like, befriended, like, a couple of the counselors. Yeah. And, like, we were... I don't know. We would always yeah. talk all the time when we were in, in classes. It was cool. And they I had, mean, like, a really nice dining I mean, hall. my... Okay. At Gerber? Yeah. Yeah, that's what my guys said. But yeah. the one I really like is Paul Bunyan. I don't know if you ever went to that one. No, I think we tried that out after I left. Because that one is really, like... like the Where it's at is just really cool. Yeah. Like, just the campsite in general. Because they have anything and everything there at Paul Bunyan. That's anything sweet. from, like, zip lining to rock climbing to... uh, They had their own smith shop like iron oh yeah yeah smelting which i did stuff there i made a fucking spoon she was cool yeah i did i did metal working at what is it camp topico before they closed yeah i didn't go there but no honestly metal working was pretty fun like, yeah like that i'll say with boy scouts you did get to do a lot of cool stuff also the the uh teacher person or whatever i had for metal working was also like super attractive i literally do not remember who i had for that that's like so it was, it was me and then I think like two of our guy, like two other guys from our troop, and that was those were the only people that were doing it. <laughs> and I was like, why isn't anyone else doing this? This is awesome. Like, where else do you get a chance to just make cool stuff out of metal and like yeah. smelt? And like, you really don't do that option that often. No, we made like a little, it's kind of like a screwdriver, but then we also like had to make a hook for it. Oh yeah, yeah. It's basically just at the point hot, and you just like bend it, right? Yeah, you get like well, you had to get like the entire like, or like half of it, and you'd like or at least for us we took two like pairs of pliers and bent it around a pole. Oh okay, yes, I think that's similar to what I did. Oh, I, I just remember making spoons. And we also like fun. twisted it too to get like you know how like there's decorative fencing and stuff and they have like the twist in the metal. Yeah. To get like that look. Yeah, that's. And what we also too. like pounded it to make it like a screwdriver. <laughs> screwdriver. <laughs> It, it wouldn't fit into any, like, nail or screw or anything, ever. Is there any more cool stories? Oh, yeah, well, yeah. How about one more? Yeah. How, one, one more story. No, so, uh, my That's first awesome. year, we go to Rotary, and, like, I'm, what, yeah, you're in, like, you're in, like, sixth grade when you go into Boy Scouts. Uh, you, no, I think you're in fifth grade, because I think you're in Cub Scouts from, like, the first four years, like, one, two, three, four, the, like, grades. You well, go you, through those you four cross phases. over fifth grade, like whenever you do crossover. Oh, uh, what's before like being a Boy Scout? What's the thing? we blow? Is that yes? We blow. We blow we, one we, and two. We blow. We we blow. We we blow. We, we blow. I don't, we those names are so weird. Right? I don't like Isn't it. Isn't we blow one and two like there's like two different stages? Yeah, I, I remember so. properly. It's my back pocket. Oh, cool. It's a knife. It's a gun. Yeah, no, so first year of summer camp, I was in like, I'm pretty sure it was either the summer before sixth grade or summer after sixth grade. We go to Camp Rotary and for like, like they have a really, really good first year program for all the new guys and it gets you through a bunch of like uh, requirements for the first couple of ranks for Boy Scouts. Mm-hmm. And the last, I think it's the last or the second to last night. You go on like a little hike through the woods around around the lake and they have like a little campsite and stuff. And like all the first year people do this. So you 
and that's pretty much like to get away from the troop and kind of like have like your own night so okay. we do this and we're using like these hiking backpacking tents that like our troop has never used because they're like they're basically like brand new i don't even think they're waterproof or anything wait like your your troop had its own tents well, like, you, you're you supposed to bring, like, your own tent to sleep in, basically. Oh, okay. So, like, we have our tents back in, at the actual campsite, and then... Oh, like the like the really cheap canvas ones? No, we, we like actually had, military like... military ones. No, we would never use those. I remember how to use those for uh, NYAO. No, Order of the Arrow. Oh, I, I still never use those. For, for o- OA, we had... Because I did mine, like, early spring. Mine so was it was like super cold at night. Yeah, mine... Oh, no, mine was at DRA. Yeah, I, well, I remember we we had the campus tents. I rem- I don't remember my roommate's name. It was someone random. Yeah. But this kid, I just remember him being the weirdest fucking kid. Like, he scared me. I felt like if there was a kid that was going to stab me in my sleep, it was that roommate. I still, to, to this day, I remember that. But I really don't remember what he looks like, what his name was. I just remember that I felt threatened. <laughs> That's <laughs> it. <laughs> Yeah, we just had, like, a giant cab, and they had, like, there's probably, like, 20 of us in there. Oh, lucky. Yeah, just because it got down to, like, 30 at night when we were there. Oh, God. Yeah, well, there was, like, still the one night that you had to sleep outside. Yeah, that was horrible. That wasn't too we bad. We slept on concrete. Oh, we slept on grass next to the road. Do you know why? Because it was downpouring, so we went underneath a oh, pavilion. Oh, pavilion. Should have slept on one of the, uh, the benches, or the picnic tables dude that's probably boy scouts has like taught me to be able to sleep anywhere not gonna lie like that's how i can Actually, sleep in yeah, that that's, bed true. Right that's true i can literally sleep on any fucking surface it to be like from one to ten like one being like the hardest shit like a stone to ten being like a giant bean bad like bed like you just totally sink in yeah i can sleep in any of those yeah uh when we went to sea base getting a little off topic here but uh, when we went to sea base, we the adventure like you, you get to choose like what adventure you do, mm-hmm. or at least like a lottery for it. And the one that we always got chosen for was the one where you went and lived down like uh, it was like a hundred and fifty foot schooner for a week. You got like you won that. <laughs> well, like you got chosen for it basically. Oh, okay, I see. So that's the one that we went or. When I went on it, that's what we did. And I think that's what essentially they've always done ever since I've known. And so above deck, you have like the wheel and everything you can cook up there. And then below deck is where all the sleeping quarters are and the the toilet. First of all, the toilet is smells awful. <laughs> the And then like the, the bunk beds, I guess you can call them. It's literally just like a wooden platform. And they put down, like, that green, that fake green, like, AstroTurf stuff. Not, like, on athletic field, but if you go to, like, Home Depot, you can buy, like... I'm really trying to picture this. It's kind of like how people have, like, sunrooms. Old people have sunrooms, and they have, like, that fake that's green true. stuff that's, like, plastic and not comfortable to sleep on at all. Dude, I am 100% lost right now, not gonna lie. Yeah, no, it's, it's really oh, weird stuff. Oh shit! Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's I know what you're yeah. talking about. Yeah, I think there, and it was an old person's house who had. That. <laughs> yep. It's it's what I picture like most people in Florida having. <laughs> For our Florida viewers out there, is this true? <laughs> <laughs> Do you have this green carpet? Plastic Wire stuff? end. Is this true? <laughs> we need to be fat checked right now. No, I would just. I'd like to think it's. What most people have in Florida. Yeah, but you slept on that. But I would like... It was also like 100 degrees below deck. Mm Because there's no airflow whatsoever. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that made sense. Yeah. (laughs) I put my towel down. And like... Most people didn't sleep down there at all. Because it was so hot. Mm -hmm. And like, they're like, oh, it's so uncomfortable. And like, it smells bad. But I was like, I'm going to tough it out. Because if no one sleeps down here... I have so much space. Mm-hmm. So I did that. And that, like, basically I can sleep anywhere. Because it was literally like sleeping on, like, a rock in the oven <laughs> You're... with someone pooping right next to you. 
you're pretty much being just like cooked. Yeah. I think a little part of me died during Wait, that. Wait, so I'm pooping next to you? Yeah, because I was, my thing, like, I actually know the entire, like, area where the beds were, or the bunks were, was, like, next to the toilet. Okay. Like, yeah, it yeah, had yeah. a door and everything, and they're like, make sure you shut the door after you go, or else it's going to smell up the entire bottom area. And people didn't close the door? No, most people did. And we also brought, like, or we also bought cans of, like, air freshener spray. Is it because it's, like, kind of like a porta potty then and just, like, stores it down below? Basically. Okay. And you also weren't allowed, you weren't supposed to, like, put the toilet paper down there. So, like, there was, like, a trash can next to it. Because it's, like, I don't understand the entire system itself, but I don't understand there's no water added that. to it. Or, like, not too much water added to it. Yeah, I, I still understand people who throw away their, their toilet paper. That's, just, that's like, a weird concept to me. It's, like, you literally have shit just sitting next yeah, to you. Yeah, no, if you have, like, indoor plumbing and stuff, it's fucking flush your toilet paper. Unless you're using a bunch, which then at that point just flush twice. <laughs> it's that simple. All right, getting back to first year rotary camp. So we're we're setting <laughs> no okay so we're setting up camp mm-hmm. and yep. we're like in the back corner of the campsite and it's this yep. giant Ryan what are you doing Ryan has a rubber band around his face <laughs> and he thinks he's really funny because it is <laughs> don't don't just snap it on me <laughs> so we're in like the back corner of this campsite like around like a little fire pit and <laughs> there was this bigger guy named Jamie. Who was uh, with us, and we're like, "Oh, Jamie," because he got done setting his tent up first. So he's like, we're "Like, oh, go go get like some firewood for us, so we can start a fire here, even though we didn't need it because it was middle of summer." Goes, grabs this giant log, brings it back, and drops it in the campsite. <laughs> it's like, there you go. <laughs> no, he drops it; it breaks in half, and there was an ant, entire ant colony living in it. <laughs> So they start crawling everywhere. He picks it up, throws it in. It hits one of the dad's tents. And the ants go everywhere inside of his tent, all over his stuff. And everyone's like freaking out. I'm on the ground laughing at this point. Me and like two other people are too. And Jamie like gets the log again. At this point, it's like, it's broken like four or five times. So there's like eight or nine pieces of it. He's just getting him, just like throwing him into the woods further and further. <laughs> and he's also stomping around camp too, just killing all the ants. And th- this dude was like a really gumpy dude too. Dude, I feel so, so bad for the. I feel so bad for the dad though. And he was like, he was like the nicest person ever. <laughs> so, so what did the dad even say? Like, did he was he there at the time? Yeah, yeah, he was standing there. He, like, grabbed all this stuff and started shaking all the ants off of his stuff. And then, like, kind of, like, let the tent essentially, like, air out, but let all the ants get out. Yeah, because they'll, they'll just get out on their own. Yeah, so after we set up, they, uh, we do, like, hobo, was it hobo pies, right? Where it's, oh. like, meat, carrots, onions. And oh, you, hell like, yeah, in the tin, in the foil. tin foil, yeah. and you put it in the fire, and yeah. it cooks it? Hell yeah. Yeah, those are, hobo pies honestly, are Those, are, those are so good, for as simple as it is. So we, we do those for dinner, and that's, like, provided by the camp and everything. And then we're kind of just, like, chilling by the fire. Eventually, everyone ends up going to sleep. And, like, there's, like, a bunch of thunder and lightning that come. It's, pro- it's probably only, like, 11 o'clock at night Okay. at this point. And it just starts, like, downpouring. What's with you and all this rain, dude? Does like all this rain just follow you? No, we always we had this thing where uh, our old scoutmaster, it would always rain one day when we were at summer camp, just like just cause like just cause of him. Like if he didn't go on the trip, it wouldn't rain. Mm-hmm. So he, he obviously was on the trip because of rain. Wow, did you break it? Nope. Okay, I guess we're using this one to wrap it up. <laughs> okay. Mayor and I just broke rubber bands. So I'm playing with it too much. Yeah, so it, it starts downpouring. And you hear like all the the counselors, like the first year instructor counselors, out there running around, and they they start calling like everyone, like all of the uh, all the staff from like the main camp area, and they're like, guys, get down here, we need to evacuate. 
the Oof. campsite. Yeah, because it well, because it was like it was only gonna get worse from there apparently. Oh wait, no, no, oh shit, yeah. Once you just finish that, I have one, Were you one there? last story. No, no, I have a different okay. story. It was at uh Bunyan. Okay. Oh, Bunyan. Yeah, no, I've heard that camp, but we never end up going. But yeah, so <laughs> they're like, send everyone down. We gotta evacuate. We don't want these kids getting hypothermia. It wasn't even that cold. It was maybe like 65, 60 out or something like that. What? Yeah, they're 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 over exaggerating. But we end up like pack like I didn't the thing is like I didn't want to sleep in that tent because it was garbage anyways. <laughs> so I was like I was happy that we gotta leave and sleep in like a normal tent that we were sleeping in all week. And we pack everything up, or we like get our sleeping bags out, and they're like leave the tents up we'll come back tomorrow we get in like the back of this truck and they're like because there's easy like, way to kidnap some yeah, kids right here there was like a little break in the rain where like it slowed down and it wasn't really raining too hard and we get in the back of this truck and there's probably like 30 people because they had a trailer attached too so there are people in the trailer and in the bed and in the truck <laughs> so we're like they're like hauling back to like the mess hall or whatever and they're like they're also calling like all the scoutmasters and like all the adults too to pick up the kids. Mm-hmm. It's like I just gotta gotta pick up the kids from school today. No <laughs> <laughs> rainy out, no wet. Yeah, but, but there was this one kid who was acted like he was super hood. But he was white too. Okay. So he was like, it was one of those kids that's like, I'm ghetto. So I'm, me. Yeah. yeah so don't me. mess with me. I'm really tough. Yeah, don't fuck with me, bro. It's like, he's one of those guys who would wear, like, the tap-out shirts. And stuff <laughs> like that. Yeah. He's like, I'm a wrestler. But he's not. And he was, like, he was, like, trying to act tough all week. Dude was fucking, like, crying. Like, he was, like, panicking? Yeah. It was hilarious. Yeah. It's like, dude, it's a fucking storm. Like, <laughs> what are we you gotta doing? go back. We're fine. Cause yeah, dude, I remember for so for my storm, I think this was NYLT, for Boy Scouts at Paul Bunyan. Do okay. you know what that NYLT is? No. National Youth Leadership Training. Yeah, cool. I'm a leader. But. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, but uh, I remember this. The storm we had was actually really bad, like it was tornado weather. Like, yeah. Cause we had like literally like it was like a hundred mile an hour winds. And there was tornadoes in the area, so they literally did the same thing. They evacuated everyone out of the camps and had us all go to the uh, uh it was just like the main like counselor cabin area like because they have their own at Paul Bunny they have their own like building with like rooms attached to the building where they have their own like indoor area so they got yeah. everyone all the scouts to sit down and they put on a movie while it was so we're not saying just what movie they did wait Shrek Titanic <laughs> what <laughs> of all movies <laughs> Yep. That's so bad. Out of all movies, they did Titanic when there's just like a whole... Literally, the storm was fucking bad, dude. Yeah. Like, it, it was so bad. But That's awful. Yeah. Uh, we should probably get it cut in. Oh, wait. So, uh, also, we have... What is it? Who's here? Who is here? I'll, you keep talking, Nathan. Keep talking. Yeah. So, when is our doorbell actually, who, where is our doorbell button? Since when have we had a doorbell? The doorbell always always been working. Who is it? It's my team. Yeah, so, we, okay, (laughs) I'm struggling here. Our podcast is now on Spotify too. If you're, because I feel like most people listen to this on YouTube. Oh yeah. Well, so, is that on Apple Play yet? I don't think so. I don't know how to get it on there. Or if you like listen to podcasts through Anchor, A N C H O R. Like a boat. Anchor. Anchor? Yeah. I think so. Yeah. Like I know, there's like the other company called Anchor, but it's also spelled A N K E R. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. That's weird. It's weird but spelling. We're, we're on Spotify. Yeah, so if you go on and search uh, Bottom Shelf Entertainment, you will f- see the Concept Something podcast. Is up there. Yeah, but it also takes, I think it also takes like 24 hours from when we upload it onto Anchor to get onto Spotify. So 
it might be up like this this could be like tuesday when it's up or it could be wednesday depending on when we upload uh, yeah i'll probably get this uploaded to anchor first before youtube not gonna lie so yeah well because you just have to do the audio and that's a quick export yeah it's way easier that way yeah so we are on spotify so i listen to all my podcasts through spotify it's easier if you're in the car or something it's just easier it uses yeah. up way less data just plus, you, plus you don't have to have like a it's not a video playing either yeah you can have your phone closed or whatever spotify is just easier so that's why we we're we're still doing posties on youtube still but just keep the content flowing. Yeah, we're mainly going to leave it for, like, Spotify itself. Yeah. So. Yeah, so listen to it on Spotify, because I feel like that's cooler than YouTube. Yeah, I'd say Just so in my well. opinion. So? Yeah. Oh, wait. Okay, so I also want to address oh, one the, more thing. the audio quality. So, like, the audio quality on the first, actually, I'd say, like, the first three, essentially. What's up, boys? Uh, hey, Becky. What's up? Four, five months now? Basically. <laughs> yeah, so we thought this microphone was a 360 mic. I personally don't think it is because I think talking in the back of it does affect the yeah. how loud Audience you are. as good. Yeah. So. Even if it is a 360, it, the back just makes you seem a lot quieter. So basically with that, uh, we're just going to try talking to the front of it. Even like last week too because like Gabby was – near the back end of it for oh, a part of it really quiet. yeah so yeah we're we're just gonna Figure try to make it work it. it would get better hopefully trust us in time S- stay tuned for the next episode of yeah. concept something five which will be next week yeah so, so i think the game plan is to try and record these like friday or saturday sometime so then hopefully it'll be up either saturday or sunday so we're trying to make this weekly. It's whatever works, honestly. We're still getting acclimated to this new school year, so yeah, we just started classes. We didn't little... even talk about classes. We can do that next week. Or yeah, whatever. shit, classes start. Fuck my life, but yeah, I say, I say we end it here. Yeah. So uh, first of all, if you made it this far, thanks for listening. Say banana bread in the comment section if you made it this far. Or don't. Please say banana bread. You know, I, I want to know that someone got this far. You don't have to listen to them, okay? Yes, you do. You have to listen to me. Listen to my voice. Hey, Lowell. Lowell, Mm -hmm. let me whisper in your ear. You get closer and you start whispering. That's so bad. All right. I think we're going to cut it off here. Okay. Bye. Deuces.